Madeline Harper. Please, call me Maddie. Ms. Harper. You came into this country about a week ago. You went to an orphanage. You loaded 10 children into a van and you attempted to drive them across the border. Is this correct? Yes. And why did you steal these children? We didn't steal them. We rescued them. And why did you rescue these children? God told me to. I've been saved by God, and God told me to save those kids. Did he tell you you stood to make 10,000 ahead on them in your own country? We didn't do this for the money. We did it for the children. We were doing God's work. God's in child trafficking. God's in salvation. Miss Harper, let's not beat around the bush. We gave them juice, biscuits. That's more than they had to eat in a week. So you're a humanitarian. We love those kids. We had to do something. All this destruction, we had to act. Yes. We're all impressed at how quickly you got down here. The bodies were barely even cold. Why don't you understand what we're doing? We're helping you. We don't need help from thieves and murderers. I'm not a thief. You stole those kids. God told me. Did he to tell you that one of those little girls had asthma? Did he tell you what medication to bring in case her airway is closed up? We overlooked a few things. Yes. I'd like a lawyer. I'd like to see you go to jail for 20 years. We didn't mean for it to happen. We did everything we could once you realized a mistake had been made. That's all I can say. Were you with her when she died? I had run for help. We didn't think. It never occurred to us that she might pass. You could have left her at the orphanage. We were trying to help them. We wanted to give them opportunities. Loving families, parents. But she already has parents. Loving parents who left her at the orphanage for her own safety. What? God didn't tell you that part? <laughs> you should have a chat with him. He's bad on his intel. <laughs> Don't even laugh at me. I'll do whatever I damn like. You certainly have. See, Miss Harper, the option before me is whether we charge you with something in your country you would call involuntary manslaughter. Call it murder. I'm leaning towards the second option. I'd like a lawyer. That isn't how things work here. Somebody from my embassy. In due time. I have a full day to keep you here if I want. <laughs> you know, I went to school in your country. And what never ceased to amaze me, this sense of entitlement you all walk around with. You have so much faith in your own rightness, burrowed that deep into your own borders, you think that nothing can touch you. Understand this, Miss Harper. I can touch you. Your borders don't protect you now. What am I doing here? I wanted to see you with my own eyes. The monster. Yes. As long as you're getting your entertainment. Quite. You said you don't know what to charge me with. I know what to charge you with. So you have a choice. I make a recommendation. And then I have a trial. It will be brief. My country won't allow this. Your country has no say here! My country has been giving your country money for years. Your government would fall apart if not for us. Even now? My soldiers are on your streets keeping the peace because you can't. My country is the only hope you have. And your God as well. Yes. What do you want from me? Remorse. You won't get that. No.
we were here to save those kids. And if one girl died, so nine more could have better lives. That's unfortunate. But there it is. I have done right by my God. So it's murder. So it's murder. Thank you, Miss Harper. We're done here.